Dorothy Catherine Gain Thompson, née Towers, the 30th of October 1923 to the 29th of January 2011, was a social historian, a leading expert on the Chartist movement. Topic: <inaudible> Biography. <inaudible> Born in Greenwich, southeast London, Thompson entered Girton College, Cambridge, in 1942. During the war, her work as an industrial draftswoman for Royal Dutch Shell interrupted her formal education. Nonetheless, she continued to pursue a career in history and was politically active. She joined the Young Communists, married the historian Edward Thompson in 1948, and moved to Halifax, where Edward worked in adult education and they were both active in the peace movement. They had three children. Kate Thompson, the award-winning children's writer, is their youngest child, with husband E. P. Thompson. She was part of the dissenting group in the Communist Party of Great Britain which in 1956-7 set up the socialist humanist journal The New Reasoner, where her competence meant her principal role was business manager. While she found the break with the Communist Party painful, she was inspired working with writers, artists, historians and trade unionists in the formation of new left clubs in many towns. She admired such figures as the Scottish miners' champion Lawrence Daly and clothing worker Gerdy Roche. In 1970 Thompson was appointed a lecturer in the School of History at the University of Birmingham, where she remained until 1988. She was also a visiting scholar on a number of occasions at universities in the United States, as well as in Canada, China and Japan. The Early Chartists was a groundbreaking collection of documents. The Chartists set out all the ways in which Thompson sought to revise how Chartism was seen, from the Irish leaders to the vital contribution of women. In January 1995 Thompson was presented with a festschrift, The Duty of Discontent. Edited by Owen Ashton, Stephen Roberts both her former students and Robert Fison, the volume consists of twelve essays spanning the whole range of 19th and 20th century British social history. The title was taken from a lecture by Chartist poet Thomas Cooper. The importance of Thompson's writings on Chartism and Irish and women's history is recognized by scholars internationally. Her work, like that of her husband, was always been informed by a passionate radicalism and a deep sympathy for the underdog. Thompson's position as the most influential historian of Chartism has been reinforced by two volumes of essays, Outsiders 1993 and The Dignity of Chartism 2015. She was a leading member of the Communist Party Historians Group. Topic: <laughs> Selected Articles Works. The Early Chartists 1971 Bibliography of the Chartist Movement 1837 to 1976 edited with JFC Harrison 1978 The Chartist Experience Studies in Working Class Radicalism and Culture 1830 to 60 edited with James Epstein 1982 Over Our Dead Bodies Women Against the Bomb editor 1983 the Chartists, Popular Politics in the Industrial Revolution 1984, reprinted Breviary Stuff Publications, 2013. Chartism in Wales and Ireland 1987. British Women in the Nineteenth Century 1989. Queen Victoria, Gender and Power 1990. Outsiders, Class, Gender and Nation 1993. Images of Chartism edited with Stephen Roberts 1998. Selected Poems by Frank Thompson, edited by Dorothy Thompson and Kate Thompson 2003. The Dignity of Chartism, Essays by Dorothy Thompson, edited by Stephen Roberts 2015. <laughs> Topic. Further reading The Duty of Discontent 1995, a festschrift edited by Owen Ashton and Stephen Roberts, New York, Mansell, ISBN 978-0-7201-2201-5 References External links Obituary by Stephen Roberts, Labor History Review, Vol. 76, n. 2, August 2011. Dorothy Thompson, 1923 to 2011. London Socialist Historians Group, the 14th of February 2011. 
Chartism and the Chartists, Musings, Information and Illustrations about the Chartists from Stephen Roberts. <laughs> 